Ladies and gentlemen, we move on with bout 11 tonight, and would you welcome to the cage, Hassan Gandalin! And now, would you welcome into the cage, Georgie Rogolin! This is welterweight amateur mixed martial arts over three three-minute rounds of action and your warriors in the cage in the red corner weighing in at 77.5k representing Gaijin MMA Hassan Dandelin! And in the blue corner he weighed in at 77k he represents Familia do Jiu Jitsu, Georgie Rogolev! Your referee, Mr. Sam Amidi. The welterweight amateur MMA action. Hassan Dandelin from Geishin Jiu Jitsu in the red corner. Georgie Rogole from Familia de Jiu Jitsu in the blue. Yes, big support here for Rogole in the blue corner as he came in. Skirting the ring apron as Hassan Dandelin looks to walk him down. Low leg kick to the thigh of Georgie. Georgie looking very confident there. Nonchalant almost is the term I'd use, Dean. Nonchalant. Hey! Nice left hook. Transition to the back. Nice aerial slam, suplex. Transition straight to side control. Keeping that shoulder pressure heavy. Pinning Hassan down to the floor. And looking at Rogolev's body language, there's almost an inevitability about that, Dean. 
He was so confident, as you said. As he entered the cage, he stared down his opponent, almost to say, I'm here. And he is here in the LFC, trying to work to gain a, a more of a rotation position, but Dandelin's put his back up against the cage. Perhaps looking to stand up, he'll suck his hips backwards, and he Does gets so. up nicely. Yes, very well done there by Dandelin. Dandelin again allowed Georgie to get those double unders. Maximum control in the takedown realm. Nice punches there from Rogolev. Yes, as I said, there's a confidence about him, and there's an air about him that and a precision in the technique, Dean. Dandelin looking for a leg lock there, opting out of it after he tasted the power from Georgie from top. Straight to Mount Oh, wow. he's got a good position here as well, Dean. Flattening Hassan out here. Dandelin overhooking that right arm of Rogolev. Looking for the sweep, but he recognises it, pulls it out. Bucking his way out, he needs to really think about moving his hips. Well, he knows how dangerous this position is for him. And we've seen the power of Rogolev pushing down with that left piston-like hand when he when he's earlier in the fight here, and he's going to be the same again unless Hassan can do something about it here. Dandelin just posturing his hips up. That's what he needs to do. He needs to start bucking and try to escape there, perhaps out the back door if he can create some space in between the legs of Rogolev. Difficult up against the cage, trying to sneak out the back door there. So he'll try and come out the back of the body. Rogolev looking, looking to get a mounted triangle, it seems like. Perhaps switch into the armbar. Oh, that looks tight. Dandelin defending with that rear naked choke position. He's going to look to get to his knees, either posture out or slip that left arm out there. Yes, he's remained very calm as well, but Rogolev has been relentless here. Using his legs just to alleviate the pressure there to coast the rest of the round out. Rogolev gives a big thumb up to the referee <laughs> there. Very intuitive and smart there for San Dandelen. He heard the 10 second clapper and he thought, right, I'm just going to use my legs now to hold out this position. I'm in danger, but I don't want to force the escape and get armbarred late in the round. Now, for all the pressure from Georgi Rogolev, San Dandelen has remained composed, compact, and as you said, very good defensively against those attempts. So, I still think there's a lot of mileage to go in this bout, Dean. Georgi Rogolev showing his superior power and jiu-jitsu skills on the floor. Can Damdelen do some damage striking or perhaps initiate those escapes quicker? We will see in the second round. So here we go for round two, and I think there's a lot more mileage in this bout. Don't write Hassan off here. Let's see if Hassan can close this distance. Rogolev is great at managing that distance and coming in when he needs to. Fancy footwork on the outside. He'll pull that lead leg out. Oh, nice. Dandelin trying to cut him off there. Yeah, there's a lot of psychology going on in this bout, especially from Rogolev, as you said. He's trying to assert his will in all areas here, not just physically, but mentally as well. That's a leg kick there from Dandelin. Trying to take the spring out of the step of that footwork, that lateral movement there of Rogolev. Yes, and you wonder what Rogolev is going to do next here. As I said, beautiful foot movement from him. Hassan sticking to his game plan, but there it is. Went for the double leg. Hassan saw it late, but saw it. Perfectly timed takedown as he looks to sneak his left leg through and pass into Neon Belly, straight to the mount. Wow, very efficient jiu-jitsu. And he's got a lot longer this round as well to do this, Dean. Mounted in this position here, if somebody's on top of you and you're up against the cage like that, and I can't work out whether Dandelin did that to himself or it was indeed Rogolev manipulating him to the cage. He could be looking for a sit-up to walk himself, but Rogolev senses that and goes high on that mount again. Well, he's got the arms pinned with the knees there, as you saw, and, and he's trying to react to this. It's a San Dandelin, but it's an awkward position for him early in the round. Punches now, raining down, threatening the mounted guillotine there, just throwing up anything he can to keep Dandelin off the game plan of actually escaping. Yes, dangerous times for Dandelin, and it's early, as we said, in the round. It's looked like he's trying to cinch up that arm for another armbar. Dandelin's left arm is out there. Yep. Looks like he's trying to cinch that up. 
Yeah, Damdalin posturing as high as he can. He's he escaped. Were you, you were impressed with his defence last round? And he's staying calm here as well, Dean. Very calm and unorthodox defence here. He'll look to leave a back, Rogolev. And it becomes fruitful because now he's transitioned to an open guard, threatening a leg lock there on the bottom. He's still on the bottom, but he's not mounted. And Rogolev showed disdain at the little left hands that were peppering his face from Hassan. And again, he's in dominant position, Dean, once more. Using those butterfly hooks to disrupt the motion of Rogolev on top, looking for the sickle sweep. Working a little bit of Delaheva there, but you've got to be really careful about eating the shots from the top. Watch him really just... Tamdalin's just creased up here underneath Rogolev's power. He's just able to bend him at will. And much of the same at the end of that round. Rogolev on top, controlling Hassan Dandelen on the bottom. And there's such confidence in that control. You don't feel a sense of urgency, do you, Dean? He just does what he does. He doesn't rush. And he didn't. He heard the last 10 seconds. It still didn't bother him. It seems a man in complete control of his game plan. He must have felt the power that he had when he tied up with Dandelen. You often get that when you're in a grappling situation, you feel what you can do and what you can't do, and the level, whether you can manhandle the per person in front of you, and that is what Georgi Rogolev is doing thus far. So, Dean, as we approach the third and final round, what can Hassan do to turn this around? He needs to just kick it into crazy mode. He needs to try and throw some orthodox strikes and catch Rogolev moving out with that lateral movement. Cut him off. Don't stand in front of him. Just cut him off with angles. Leg okay. kicks can take away the spring of the step, but they're not going to finish the fight. And again, Rogolev, the same game plan as he did before. He waits for his man to come in. Hooks up quickly again this time, Dean. Looking for the double under. He's got one at the moment, the 50-50 position. But as we've seen, Rogolev has just got some crazy core strength. He's able to manipulate Damdelin. Where, oi, big knee on the inside. That'll soften him up as well. Nice single leg takedown. And Dean, that's proof positive, really, of what you're saying. It's this core strength is the difference between the two men. Rogolev just able to impose his will, his physical will, on his opponent. And he's just looking for this mount. Look, he just drives that knee forward. Damblin trying to force it and move his hips away, but it's just driving into his midsection. And then the right hand starts to work like a little piston to Hassan's side of his face. And that's a distraction there. Rogolev wants to distract him so he can actually gain his objective, which is the mount there. Hassan reacts to it, but as you said, that core strength here in play for Rogolev. Looking to cinch up that head and arm triangle. Damdelen answering the phone. One of the correct defences to this. He doesn't. The reason why he's holding on to his leg, that's really unorthodox, but the reason is Rogolev wants to jump to his left and cinch up. They say he finished the choke, so he's holding on to that leg so he can't jump into the side control position and cinch up the choke tighter. And that's one of the things we need to talk about, Hassan Damdelin. He's been very impressive in defence across three rounds against a very dangerous man. Hammering away at the body of Damdelin is Rogolev. Very content in this mounted position. He's just able to base out, skydiving with his hands there to keep the base so he doesn't get swept over. Very technical. Trapping that, the shoulder there. He's so confident from the top there, Malcolm. You don't usually see the knee coming across the bicep in front of because he can sneak out the back. But it's just evident of Rogolev. He knows how to deal with the fighter in front of him and he's just got so much downward dominant pressure. He can afford to switch up the techniques a little. Yes, we're going for that arm again, I think, now, Dean. Opening up punches to give the arm. Looking for the arm bar on the top. Yes, he was fishing for it a few seconds back. But again, I love the way he adapts if it doesn't work. He, he's still there, he's still in dominant position. He'll, he'll throw the punches down. And then, as you said, go again. He's made it very uncomfortable, Hassan Damdalen here. He's adhering to one of the core rules in jiu-jitsu, position before submission. He's going for... Oh, he's going for the... Oh, well, Plata there, switch round again. Wow. <laughs> Gymnastic display here of these two fighters, but Rogolev going for the submission on the bottom. 
coming out, a more, the more dominant fighter, able to control the top position and land punches. As Dan Dandelen just didn't have an answer for it under the pressure of Georgie Rogolev. Ladies and gentlemen, three superb rounds of mixed martial arts. Please, both your warriors in this cage. But we do have a unanimous decision. Our judges in favour of the blue corner, Georgie Rogolev.